Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 tutorial with your host Spoonie Pizzas. Today this is a goalkeeping tutorial, so I'm going to be teaching you all the basics of how to move your goalkeeper around for starters. And then we're going to show you some of the more advanced stuff and some tips and tricks. So, to move your goalkeeper around, just use the left arm stick to position him. Circle is your save button, as you saw that. You don't always have to use your save button, as you're going to find out from this corner here. So punch it away. And here we go. So if I position my goalkeeper over here, I'm not going to touch the left arm stick, but hold X. This positions the goalkeeper in the optimum position, apparently. A circle to dive. So to sprint out from goal, we need to do hold X and your sprint button at the same time. Okay, one final basic control is double tap the sprint to drop the ball. Okay, so for corners, all you need to do is wait for that yellow marker to appear. And then you can might be able to go and uh, punch it away, depending if it's close. You don't have to do anything, just move your goalkeeper towards that area and he will punch it for you. Don't press square or anything or circle because your, uh, your goalkeeper will fall on the floor otherwise. So defending free kicks, I tend to put my goalkeeper to the nearest side and then move him across to the far side. And then as soon as he starts his run up, that's the point at which you can start moving the goalkeeper. So one of the oldest tricks in the book for goalkeeping is to show him the side that you want to shoot. So you can see in this clip here that I'm moving to the left hand side of the goal, showing him the right hand side. That takes the guessing work out of how to save the shot from my point of view. You know where he's going to be shooting and you're going to see this a lot where I'm going to take a step to the left here. Try to show him the furthest route to go. So obviously the near post would have been the shortest route in this instance. Again. In this clip here, it's quite interesting. I moved too early, thinking he's going to shoot first time. So I move back, and then I move left again before moving to the right and saving it. Here's a few more examples in normal speed. If they're through one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, don't do this generally. Um, I did actually get really lucky here by making a, a wonderful save, but what I would recommend it doing is closing them down, and I'm going to show you that in the next two clips. But in this example, I'm backing off. And I would try to say that, you know, in all of these clips, if you are going to make saves, make sure you're as close to your line as possible going to give you a better chance of saving them I find if you stick to your line so here's some one-on-one -on -one examples so notice how I'm charging out using the sprint and the X this gives me a direct path to the player with the ball but then I'll release it at the last second and then all I'm doing there is guessing which way he's going to shoot. Same here. So you're trying to make yourself big. So you're trying to make the uh, the goal as small as possible by opening your body up. So that's all for me ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed the goalkeeping tutorial. If you did don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. That would be a great help to me. Thanks for joining me. I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.